trick to learn atomic mass is the first 30 elements. Well, I write the first 20 elements of the periodic table with their respective atomic numbers. Now we will learn two famous tricks to remember the atomic masses. The first one is, if atomic number is even, we multiply it by 2. The second trick is, if atomic number is odd, we multiply it by 2 and add 1 to it. Here, wait a minute. We cannot apply these two tricks on four elements. In order to remember these four elements, consider Mr. Bean. I write Bean color. Here, this B E stands for beryllium, this N stands for nitrogen, this C L stands for chlorine, this A R stands for argon. So I put star on these four elements. Except these four elements, we can easily apply these two tricks on first 20 elements of the periodic table. Now the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and its atomic mass is also 1. The atomic number of helium is 2. It is even number, so I multiply it by 2. I get 4. Hence the atomic number of helium is 4. The atomic number of lithium is 3. It is odd number. I multiply it by 2 and I add 1 to it. I get 7. Hence the atomic number of lithium is 7. We know that beryllium is an exception case. I leave it. On the other hand, we can see that the atomic number of boron is 5 and it is odd number. I multiply it by 2 and I add 1 to it. I get 11. The atomic number of carbon is 6. I multiply it by 2. I get 12. We know that nitrogen is an exception case. I leave it. The atomic number of oxygen is 8. I multiply it by 2. I get 16. The atomic number of fluorine is 9. I write 9 into 2 plus 1. I get 19. The atomic number of neon is 10. I write 10 into 2. I get 20. The atomic number of sodium is 11. I write 11 into 2 plus 1. I get 23. The atomic number of magnesium is 12. I write 12 into 2. I get 24. The atomic number of aluminium is 13. I write 13 into 2 plus 1. I get 27. The atomic number of silicon is 14. I write 14 into 2. I get 28. The atomic number of phosphorus is 15. I write 15 into 2 plus 1. I get 31. The atomic number of sulfur is 16. I write 16 into 2. I get 32. We know that chlorine and argon are both exception cases. So I leave them. The atomic number of potassium is 19. I write 19 into 2 plus 1. I get 39. Finally, the atomic number of calcium is 20. I write 20 into 2. I get 40. Now I write the atomic masses of remaining four elements. The atomic mass of beryllium is 9. That of nitrogen is 14. That of chlorine is 35.5 and that of argon is 40. Thus using this trick, we can easily write the atomic masses of first 20 elements of the periodic table. Now I will teach you writing atomic masses of elements from 20 to 30. I will use these three tricks. The first trick is, if atomic number is divisible by 7, we multiply it by 2 and add 3 to it. The second trick is, if atomic number is even, we multiply it by 2 and add 4 to it. The third trick is, if atomic number is odd, we multiply it by 2 and add 5 to it. We know that the atomic number of scandium is 21 and it is divisible by 7. So I multiply it by 2 and I add 3 to it. I get 45. 
Secondly, the atomic number of nickel is 28 and it is divisible by 7. So I multiply it by 2 and I add 3 to it. I get 49. Now the atomic number of titanium is 22 and it is even number. According to the second trick, I multiply 22 by 2 and I add 4 to it. I get 48. The atomic number of vanadium is 23. According to the third trick, I multiply 23 by 2 and I add 5 to it. I get 51. The atomic number of chromium is 24. I multiply it by 2 and I add 4 to it. I get 52. The atomic number of manganese is 25. I multiply it by 2 and I add 5 to it. I get 55. The atomic number of iron is 26. I multiply it by 2 and I add 4 to it. I get 56. The atomic number of cobalt is 27. I multiply it by 2 and I add 5 to it. I get 59. The atomic number of copper is 29. I multiply 29 by 2 and I add 5 to it. I get 63. Remember that we cannot find atomic mass of zinc by these tricks. It is an exception case and its atomic mass is 65. Therefore, using this trick, we can easily find the atomic masses of first 30 elements of the periodic table.